Hi, it's Stuart Verdery with MBTA TV. I'm uh, president of Monument Policy Group and MBTA's government affairs consultant. Uh, here in Washington, we're very excited about President-elect Obama's inauguration next week and some of the new policy changes that are likely to come, uh, come into play early uh, in his term. Uh, we're also watching closely the confirmation hearings of his lead cabinet nominees of, of interest to us. Obviously, Senator Clinton is uh, having her confirmation hearing today and will be confirmed as Secretary of State probably on January 20th. We're very excited to have her uh, representing the world, representing the United States around the world. Governor Janet Napolitano from Arizona will be confirmed in all likelihood as the next Secretary of Homeland Security. We're very excited that she brings a border state perspective to her job and are very uh, hopeful that she will uh, remember that facilitation of legitimate travelers both overseas and at our land borders is crucial to the economy. We're looking at uh, Congressman Ray LaHood from Illinois as the next uh, transportation secretary. This is one of the uh, Republicans that President Obama has appointed to join a bipartisan cabinet. He brings a lot of experience in the Congress on transportation issues and that's particularly important because of the huge amount of money that Congress will be devoting to transportation and infrastructure in the stimulus package which I'll talk about in a second. We're waiting for a Commerce Department nominee. Uh, uh, Governor Bill Richardson, the original appointee, withdrew his uh, nomination. Uh, and so we're waiting to hear who the Commerce Secretary might be in the coming weeks. Uh, some of these sub-agencies of real importance to our membership, the Federal Aviation Administration, uh, yet to be determined. The Transportation Security Administration, also waiting a nominee. And Customs and Border Protection will be led at least for six months or so by the current uh, holder of the office, Ralph Basham, a very important agency for our international partners. The big legislative initiative uh, that will be on Congress's desk uh, even before President Obama takes office is the stimulus package. We're looking at up to $1 trillion of spending and tax cuts meant to stimulate the economy, get people working, make sure that our corporations are, are actively uh, hiring and maintaining jobs. The key initiative for MBTA and the stimulus will be a big influx of money for transportation. We have signed on to a coalition letter asking for up to $4 billion for aviation improvements, uh, three billion of which would go, would go to the next gen radar uh, systems for aircraft, both on, in the planes and on the ground to modernize our transportation system and get more planes into the air, less delays, less planes stuck on tarmacs. There will also be money for Amtrak, for bridges, for highways, for intermodal connections. And we're also hopeful there will be money for our ports of entry uh, to make the welcoming experience a, a faster and more pleasant for people coming into the country from overseas and for Americans returning. There's obviously a number of issues we're also keeping an eye on related to the banking system, climate change, energy policy, uh, visa policy. Um, there's a whole range of initiatives. We're excited that uh, President-elect Obama has gotten his team in place quickly, that the Senate is taking up his nominees quickly, and there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of controversy about the ones that we care about. Um, we are about to put out our MBTA scorecard, our policy scorecard for 2009, and a look back at 2008, judging our key issues on how the government fared, uh, for better or for worse, during 2008, and laying out a detailed agenda for 2009 that we will use in Congress and with the administration. That will be announced in the middle of January and will guide our efforts on the legislative and regulatory front in 2009. So it's a busy year. We're off to a good start. Uh, we're excited about the festivities next week and then people will return to the business at hand and making sure from our end that MBTA's membership is well represented in Washington. Thank you.